Hello, my dear. I'm Dr. Ala Musbah, professor of obstetrics and gynecology faculty of Medicine Mansoura University. We are going today to answer some multiple choice questions in gynecology and please choose the one best response. The first question, the cilia of the fallopian tube has the following function. A. Remove the zona bellicida which surround the ovum. B. Transport the ovum towards the uterus. C. Enhance the rapid division of the zygote. D. Transport the ovum towards the peritoneal cavity. E. Has a bactericidal function. So, choose the one best response. Of course, the answer is transport the ovum towards the uterus. Next, the most important muscle for pelvic floor function is A. Bulbo cavernosus B. Ischio cavernosus C. Levator and I D. Superficial transverse brineal muscle D. Deep transverse brineal muscle Please choose the one best response. Of course, the answer is levator in eye muscle, which is the most important muscle for pelvic floor function. Go to the next. A woman with bilateral hydro, bilateral sorry, bilateral proximal tubal blockage, which was diagnosed by history serpentogram and her husband has a normal semen analysis. What is the best management choice for this couple? Doing a laparoscopic opening of the tube and then expectant management. A. B. Giving the woman clomid for three months and the expectant management. C. Doing controlled ovarian hyperstimulation. D. Doing exe, which is intracytoplasmic sperm injection. E. Doing IUI, which is intrauterine insemination. Choose the one best response. The answer is doing exe because I have here a proximal tubal plug I can't do IUI I can't use controlled ovarian simulation only or induction with clomid also laparoscopic opening of the tube is not a solution because it is not a distal plug it is a proximal tubal plug so, the best one response is doing exe. Next question. The second meiotic division of the oocyte is normally completed. A. At the stage of the primary follicle. B. At the stage of graphene follicle. C. In the peritoneal cavity. D. In the uterus at the time of implantation, E. After sperm penetrates the secondary oocyte. Okay, choose the one best response. Okay, the one best response here after the sperm penetrates the secondary oocyte. Okay. Go to the next recognized feature of postmenopausal women is low FSH and LH hormones, increased bone mineral density, high FSH, high level of estrogen, increase the incidence of uterine fibroid. Choose the one best response. The answer of course is high 
FSH. Okay. Let us go to the next. The staging of ovarian carcinoma is based upon which of the following? A. Pelvic examination. B. CT imaging of the abdomen and the pelvis. C. Paracentesis of acidic fluid. D. Surgical evaluation of the extent of intra-abdominal diseases. E. Barium enema. As all of us know that staging of the ovarian carcinoma by surgical laparotomy. So we call it staging laparotomy. So choose the one best response in this question. I'm going to choose surgical evaluation of the extent of intra-abdominal disease. Okay. Let's go to the next. Which of the following is a metabolic end product estrogens? Estriol, estron, estradiol, isinyl estradiol, diisyl estilbustir. Choose the one best response. Here, the one best response is estriol. And the estriol occur after hydroxylation of estrone and the estradiol using the cytochrome B450 okay so estriol is the best one response in this push let us go to the next one the leading cause of gynecologic reproductive cancer deaths in women is cervical cancer, uterine cancer, ovarian cancer, vulvar cancer, fallopian tube cancer. Choose the one best response. Here, the one best response is ovarian cancer. Okay, go to the next. An infertile woman was given 30 ampules of human menopausal gonadotrophins, HMG. Then she acutely developed ascites and abdominal pain. She most likely has ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome or severe liver impairment or ovarian failure or ovarian sicoma or ovarian fibroma choose the one best response of course here the one best response is ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome and this is one of the most important dangerous and dangerous side effects of ovarian hyperstimulation especially when you are going to use gonadotropin hormone in a large dose okay go to the next a 65 year old woman found to have solid and the cystic at the next cell mass mental cake and the ascites which of the following is the most likely diagnosis? Endometrial carcinoma, ovarian carcinoma, cervical carcinoma, ovarian fibroma, cyclutein cysts. Choose the one best response. Of course, the answer here is ovarian carcinoma. Yes. Next, a 57-year-old woman suffers urinary incontinence when she has a desire to void urine. This pattern is defined as A. Stress incontinence B. Urge incontinence C. Combined stress and urge incontinence 
D. Vesicovaginal fistula E. Urethral diverticulum Please choose the one best response Okay The answer is Urge incontinence Yes Okay everybody thank you I want you to remember my box, textbook of obstetrics, textbook of gynecology, and the contraception handbook, and MSQ book published recently. All these four books published on Amazon, and you can find them through this link. This is my link as an author on Amazon, and you can reach all these books, and you can see a sample of this book okay of course MSQ is a multiple choice questions related to obstetrics and also gynecology and contraception so covering the three subjects